generic greetings and welcome back to Mega Aquarium where we've just researched a Belfast tank. Uh, let's go for the large protein skimmer. So in the previous episode we did some more work over here on our quite stylized area that's um, apparently doing quite well which is good. We also added, oh, good grief, that's, oh, that's broken down, we're fine. We added these two tanks here. Now the original idea was to have two tanks and then two tanks either side and that's what we we're going to do. However, slight problem, it, um, it's not really working out because we need to shift these fish over here because they're not that happy. We also lost a couple of fish due to incompetence, but hey ho. Let's go for hiring and firing, and we need to have someone that's good at cleaning. And uh, we don't really have someone. There's a fixing and cleaning. Um, oh, these now, uh, we'll say feeding for you. Um... I guess we'll say Olive, we'll hire Olive and we'll hire Romero, there's two new staff members. So this episode what we want to do is get this, probably the Belfast tank in, so the Belfast tank is massive. Um, as you can see it's that's its base size, there's New Day and the Brazilian Rass unlocked. Um, do you want to unlock any of the other stuff? Uh, we'll go for the... Um, sponge, because I think we'll turn this into a... We'll turn this into a coral tank. In fact, we'll do that now. We might as well do that now. So we do have large lights, I believe. Um, yes, we do. Power lights. So we'll put power lights in there. Whoa, grand and a half. Okay, I regret this decision. Uh, <laughs> we want to have our coral in there. So the coral will be all well, several types. So we've got... Um, Disco Mushroom, uh, we're researching this other coral which will be there shortly, and we've got an enemy, there's the large protein skimmer, so rank 6 we've got a large chiller and a double filter, we want a large chiller. So we want to have in here, can we have an enemy together as well, so Disco Mushrooms and Nemony, is that possible? So uh, cold water and hot water, no it is not, sadly not, uh, where do you want a frilled anemone, that would be nice to have in there. Um, we could have a cold water tank with lights, couldn't we? We could. Uh, this person, uh, we'll say, fixing. There we go. And what temperature too low? Really? Where at? In tank seven again? How? Too low? Oh, it must have broken down. That's a shame. Um, I'm not going to buy any more. Our tank's just a curse. Right, so, let's go for... Some coral in here. What do we want inside here though? Don't want any pollock. Porcupine puffer? And some disco mushrooms? Or do you want loads of these things like the orchid dotty back? Or the Arabian blue line dotty back? I don't know. Or the French angel fish? Well, we've already got those on the go, haven't we? I have. No, uh, we, we do have six of them in here. So, what fish can we put in there? It needs to be hot for them. So, none of these fish are things around there. We've got no orchid dotty backs, so we'll probably put those in then. Size one, okay. There's our new sponge. Um, right, so quite frankly, we want loads of these. There we go. And enough money to put, hopefully, the rest of these in. Size tank we're up to at the moment. Come on, baby. Require light, 70 water, and they do have growth time. So they will get larger, but these don't grow. Yes, they don't grow. But these do, so we need to be careful about how many we put in. I think that will be alright for now. So, in terms of the ground stuff, well, actually, let's get the let's fulfill the needs of the fish first because 
that's just the way forward. Um, we want to have uh, what and cooling. The problem is, uh, this is going to be an issue actually. What I might do is delete that toilet and these walls here and that. We'll add a wall in, like so. We'll add a staff door in and we'll shift these about. Like so, and where can this one go? Um, probably there. Alright, so we now have more room. Half of me don't because that room could just technically take up some room, so that's not good. Where can we put this? It's really tight on space. I mean, we could just, if we really wanted to, delete that. <laughs> Pick that up, put it there. And have a cleaning cupboard. Actually, it's a broom cupboard, isn't it? It would be a cleaning cupboard if we had a sponge. And yeah, the sink. There you go. <laughs> little, little janitorial cupboard. So, for here, warmth, filtration. Let's go. So, heater. Done. Large filter. Large protein skimmer. Done. Okay. They will be fed. Um, they require plankton. And we don't have plankton, so we will place plankton somewhere. Um, we do have it, it's just not around here, so um, that's sponge pellets. Plankton dispenser. Uh, yes. And question is, do we... Hmm, where are we going to store this? Can't really just put it in the middle of the room. We technically can put it there, because um, then we can go around, <laughs> which is a very, very strange thing indeed, but that's just how it is. Um, oh, I can go there, actually. That's fine. Like, you can probably stand on it as well. I mean, it's probably breaking many health and safety guidelines, but I'm, I'm just saying you can, not that you would want to. Um, so, we want to put... Every time I try to do something, it's... Right, cleaning. Um, Pop-ups. Right, so let's put in here... Let's put in, like, some... Conch. Put some shells in. Popular achievement, apparently. Only in the game, though. Um, and a bit of a bit of greenery wouldn't go amiss, would it? Maybe a bit of a feature of some kind. What feature? What feature? What feature? Um, well, it's it's oh, a treasure chest. <laughs> What's it look like? Not too bad, actually. Yeah, that's okay. Right, so, we have that. Excellent. And still haven't done the Belfast stuff. So let's work on the uh, Belfast. So we want to buy more land. Um, I want to put the Belfast around here. I want it jutting out. So let's buy a fair chunk of land here. I will pick this up and move them around. Like so. better. And let's see how big we can make a Belfast tank. Oh my good grief, you can have it can be absolutely huge. Wow, two grand to get that. No. Um I like the way you can walk all the way around it and if we did that in the center there, what we'd do is we would then have a wall that went like that, because then that would still give you the gap of two all the way around, which is good, it's what we were aiming for. Uh, we might buy out that little bit and that little bit just to make it a bit more even. Uh, yes, that looks okay. So we now need access to that, which requires a double height 
set of ladders. There you go. Um, we can probably delete those, actually. We only need the one. And it means we can um, put something in there if we need to. Um, we almost certainly, in fact, I know for a fine fact, we're going to need to um, extend this land. Because we're going to have a pump in here, you see. And we're going to pump that way. In fact, we'll just do that. It's just easier, isn't it? Um, that's fine. So we'll have a staff to either side. And unpause it just to gain some more money. So we want those padded benches. Oh, they are padded benches. So do you want to start creating padded benches? You want our better gift shop to buy us. Yeah, we'll put them in later. Do we need any... I think what we'll have around here, though. It's bins. Always useful to have bins. And then fizzy drinks machines can go there. And then a chocolate one over this side. Next research is... Go for that. Dwarf fish. So, this tank is going to house these guys. So, we need to double check. They need decent size, which they do have. Uh, they eat anything or well, fish and crustaceans they eat. Let's go for a uh, double filter. Uh, it's a fish and crustaceans size 6 or less they eat. So it's going to be a big tank of fish. So And it's water of the hot variety. So that can go in there. That can go in there. And that can go in there. So obviously they're not feeling too good. It's a little bit chilly. But we will now resolve that. And we will put in a power pump. So we'll put one in here and connect that up to there. We need to warm this place up, so we will do just that. We'll have a large heater there and a large heater there and then a large heater there. <laughs> That's now warm enough. And we need to filter this thing. So, hmm, yeah. Oh, by the way, um... These do have two tank connections. You can connect two tanks to it. So, you can be a bit more efficient like that one there. See, it's powering two. Um, in here, it's not going to happen. So, we need um, more filtration. And quite frankly, I am going to be... Under I reckon we're not going to be able to... Oh, it looks like I can do that. We'll need some more, though. So, there's those fish, which is... Mm, not great. So let's see what else we can put in this one. So the requirement is that it is... you need at least three of them in there because it's a shawler. That's fine. So the fish has to be size seven or more. Or rather can be seven or more. It's fish, fish and crustaceans though. So... Won't eat the starfish, but kind of starfish because it's it's uh, cold water. Could have had coral. I really want one of these frilled anemones. Humpback snapper. That's what we got in there now. Um, do I want to put any more in? Don't know. Um, that would go in though, the porcupine puffer. But it does take five days to grow, so in the meantime, it could be eaten. French angel fish would go in. Butterfly fish wouldn't go in. Yellow tang, no. None of these. So it's because we're limited by the size. Um, Pollock mm, wouldn't do so well because uh, it's cold water. <laughs> um, look at that. The ball and wrasse. It's size 14. I'm guessing then it's between these two. Um. Porcupine puffer. It's a wimp. But armoured has effect the size of six when cal when calculating whether a predator can eat it. Is there anything we've got that's armoured? No. But it should hopefully grow to eight. Let's just see how we get on with that. <laughs> it might not work. Um, we'll have... What else? Angelfish, perhaps? We've already got six. I 
And a lot of money. Are these shawlers? No, size 6. Right, let's try and fulfill the needs of these guys. Uh, for a start, we need to increase the water quality. So there's that water quality f done. We need to add some foliage for these guys. And I think that should do for now. And we need to put some food stations in. So we've got three types. We've got the cockles. We need plankton. Which we currently don't have money for, but we'll get there in a second. There's a new animal unlocked. It's a size 5, so it's not no good for us. Size 7. Fox first rabbitfish is actually perfect for our needs. And the panther grouper as well. Go for... Other species are green. Ah, well. Oh, we don't have green in there. Anyway. So we'll place that. And then we need... A sand eel dispenser, I believe. There we go. So that's much better. That's much better. So they're all... Liking each other. So it's Mr. Feeding. Miss Last Feeding. So we probably need some more staff, actually. That's good in feeding. So there's one there, in fact. There we go. So let's have a quick zoom in and see what this thing's like. It is... It's not bad. However, there's a distinct lack of those fish. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, yeah, it's been eaten. <laughs> yep, they've been, <laughs> they've been eaten. Oh, dear. Uh, are they slightly bigger? The I'm, hope, I'm hopeful that they're going to grow bigger. Fox face rabbit fish is size 7. Um, eats green pellets. Cannot be housed in an area with a species that eats green pellets. Um, that's good because these... I don't think any, any pellets in here are... That's sand eels. Sand eels, uh, cockles, and sponge. Oh, so we can put them in there then. And they are size 7. There we go. Right. So those are in. Uh, we will have to have another pump. I thought we might need that. So... Requirements. Just a small pump would probably do. Go in there. And we just need to have a plankton skimmer on it, basically. And some more water. There we are. And I know they missed their feeding, but... It should be alright now. So let's get some more... There's some decent looking stuff in there. Let's get... Some rocks in. So a rock... Oh, there's our animal. Unlocked. We'll have a rock there. Rocky outcrop there. They don't need it, but it'll just look alright. And a rock there. And we're gonna... Dot it with some of these. You don't need to be too precise. In fact, being... Random with it... Is better because you end up uh, getting a less manufactured effect. Well, that tank's looking okay now. Oh, it's a bit sad that there's one angel fish in there. Um, <laughs> there's our double filter unlocked, um, and all the all the all the snappers are being eaten basically. Yeah. So what we'd have to do, we'd have to have a holding tank, grow them up, and then move them over. That's what we'd have to do. Um, Let's put some more angel fish in then. Ah oh, no, because they're going to get eaten as well, probably. So we'd have to have separate ones. But what we could do, because this is size 10, put that in there, put that in there, and put that in there. This one, it's actually a small fella, can go in there. <laughs> That'll work. 
Um, and we've got more. F we've got ones that have missed feeding, so we do need more people that can feed. Higher. And higher. There we go. Just need more people. More people on the job. So. That's the tank sort of done. It's working, which is good. So, we now need pretty much this area again around here. So, let's do just that. I'm going to shift that bin to that corner. I'm going to buy out the land. I'm going to buy the lot, like that. Level up in fixing, please. There we go. And we should really... To prioritize so sort of you for fixing prioritize two for fixing olive obviously maximum fixing the marrow prioritize cleaning she's only got feeding anywhere but we'll say max out uh, you can focus on gift shop actually Benny focus on cleaning and feeding right there we go so we want a decent gap there. We want to have... It's a deep wall tank. I don't think we'll be able to afford it. Oh, we can afford it. Like that. And we'll put it there. <laughs> we are... <laughs> yeah, we had 15 left. Uh, all the porcupine puffers have been eaten, I think. At least the angel fish have grown as well. So yeah, that's another facet to that. You would want to put the fish in a separate area. And oh my good grief, they've got oh they've got they've got loose. The um <laughs> the they've all got loose. <laughs> They're going around all the stuff area. <laughs> Please don't touch anything electrical. <laughs> They're on the top and everything. Okay. What I'll do. I'll get this corner tank in. Deep corner tank. There we go. And then I will um, place them there. Oh, what, what were they saying there? Shouldn't feel to be hidden. Ah, oh, I see. I mentioned that in, um, I think, my preview. And I didn't think that it um, had any bearing. But apparently... It does. So there we go. We've got these in here. So we need to increase our prestige. And I want to have a tank that has um, an autopsy report, which is good. Uh, we'll put you from that. And it's fine. So we want to have a tank with probably... Well, I definitely want some anemones. Anemones. Um, so we want one of those, so that is cold water. Uh, do we have Atlantic Pollock? I don't think we do, do we? Or do we? Oh, we have three of. We have three Atlantic Pollock. We have three of those. We don't have a Brazilian Rass, though. Um, so what we'll do, we'll have a couple of those in here. And we'll have some of these, and then we'll have it sort of a rocky ground. That'll look quite good, because it does. it's a cave lover anyway. So that'll look quite good indeed. So, we want to have uh, this cooled first so I'll say large chiller that's now chilled uh, we need access to this so I will um, well, actually do that there we are no access to that we want to have I'm not going to put the fish in first because I know I'm quite short on funds um, I'll have a rocky outcrop there We'll have another one just there. All right, and then we also want some rubble. And we'll put the anemones in. So let's work on that. So we need green and we need light. That's a 
problem. I won't be able to light this thing. Oh no, we only need like five. Darn it, not enough money. I think I'm about to kill off the anemones. How much money would it cost? That much. Right, that's in. What? No, qual no filter. I've totally uh, messed this up. And we're on minus now. Oh dear. I think those anemones are about to die. I need to get a filter in quickly. Double filter. That's an interesting one. Large filters in. And we need green food. Just keep mashing the button and hopefully they'll be fed. Uh, fix them. I don't know if it's a good idea to prioritise the ones that are really good at something or just give them general ones. I'm assuming prioritise actually. There we go. I've already seen kelp. Getting bored of seeing Rocky Overhang. All oh, right, so I've been using it so much <laughs> that they uh, they used they've seen it too much. Right, at least they're now in a, de a, a much better state. These things. Um, so when we're gonna put in the probably going to lionfish at some point as well. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Cannot be housed with anything. Oh, yeah, because it's a lionfish and scorpionfish. Yeah. I was going to say I'll put it in there, but it can't. Can't be. Um, we've still got this em empty tank at the front as well. Um, we should probably fill that up with something. Um, actually, we could probably put this in. Yes, we can. There we go. They should be fine in there. Yeah, they're, they're loving it in there. Nice. Uh, they go up to size they're size 5 and... Oh, they stay size 5. So, we're just going to put some more in. And we will put some more food in, though. Actually, we need some another rocky outcrop or something. Um, let's... Food first. Red food. Yes, done. Uh, we need another filter. Probably get rid of that plankton skimmer, quite frankly. Put a large plankton skimmer in. Protein skimmer. I call it plankton skimmer. I don't know why. Um, and a large filter in the back there. And that'll, that'll resolve that problem. Uh, we need more cave, though. More cave, more better. Um, and now I'm just going to start picking up random things. And shift them about. Um, can I just delete it? Yes, I can. Um, I thought some, sometimes it used to highlight what you've got. Um, so it's just a question now of finding out. That's fine. Delete that. We need another little overhang, I think. One more cave, which we could put a little bit of driftwood in. I'm pretty sure I deleted that. Fine. Delete. Right. There we are. Finally. So we want driftwood cave at the back. There we go. Where's that done? And a bit of rubble there. Right. So that's all done. Belfast tank's working out alright. This tank, we have got the anemones in there. Um, you can go for a gift shop working, please. So we now need to put in our Barl and Rass. Uh, the growth size large. You also need crustaceans. Which we don't have any crustaceans in there. So, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Not going to place any more until we get more money. Because inevitably it'll pop up and say, Aha! You haven't got enough or something. Let's place those in there. So what size do they go to? Oh, we've got nowhere near enough cave system. Size 6 and they go to 14. 
Size of the tank. Oh, we're okay. We're fine. So, we will increase the water quality. Large filter in there. And large protein skimmer. And then we just need some more cave. More cave, more better. So, driftwood, I think. I think driftwood is the way forward. Log in there. Not enough money for a log. Literally, you can just go to the beach and get this for free. <laughs> um... Log in there, log in there, log there, log, log, log there, and there we are. Um, not much greenery in here, but yeah, um, should we put a little bit of, a little bit of this in. A little greenery there and there and there. I think that's full. Right, let's see what this looks like. Not great. I'm going to, I'm going to have. This for painting session here. So Pirate Cove on those two. And for my sins that are on the right and oh you win. Ah, so it looks like I've because I've got enough there, enough prestige, we've got that done. By working with ambient temperature and modernizing the Volberg Aquarium, you've brought it from the brink of bankruptcy to a level of extreme profitability. The board of directors are immensely proud of what you've achieved, but they understand that such a capable curator has to leave eventually. It's time you branched out on your own and build the aquarium free from the whims of investors or directors. It just so happens that I've found the perfect opportunity for you in the city of culture. Neapol. Uh, <laughs> so, Nepalos, let's go. I thought I said Naples for a second. Though. Um, so, is that it? There we go. We move on. And that should be that. So, Napolos. Uh, convert an abandoned theatre into an aquarium. That's going to be an interesting one. And for some reason, the screen's all black. I have no idea why. Either way, uh, in next episode, if you uh, do so desire, we're going to go here and convert an abandoned theatre into aquarium. It, just because it's an abandoned theatre alone, I think I'm pretty much going to try it. But uh, we'll see how that one goes. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.